Let me introduce back onto the stage the present CEO of the ARF, Gail Fugit. Okay, thanks everybody. We're gonna bring it home really quickly here. I have uh, slides that you've seen before. We started on Monday with programmatic buying, big data. We had some fabulous keynotes over the course of our two days. Uh, we had Bob Lord speaking. Uh, he spoke about convergence and leadership skills. Uh, we had Greg Rafman from Rubicon bring us uh, an awful lot of interesting information about addressable television and programmatic uh, buying. Uh, we had, of course, Lori Hiltz this morning uh, who talked about convergent agility, uh, a whole different way of thinking about things. Um, and uh, we had our, our, our platinum sponsors, which I'd like to thank, uh, Dave Morgan uh, from Simul Media, who led the great debate, and uh, David Poltrack from, uh, from CBS and CBS Vision. And I think we've been able to take two days and really get out this mandate of code red. And you know, we started out and we said there's a, a measurement mandate. A lot of people were like, that's a really serious word, Gail. And you know, it's not that motivating. Um, but I think really it's an opportunity. This is an opportunity. It's a leadership opportunity for us. And so look, we're, we clearly have, I think the opportunity of a lifetime, maybe it's a second opportunity of a lifetime after the opportunity that the internet presented us to come out and reinvent our solutions and build on the great solutions that we have uh, and get in line, in sync, and in time with the consumer that we that we really uh, believe in and that we want to bring to the decision table. So this is our point of view. We really believe that this measurement mandate is a leadership mandate. And you've heard, I think, just about every speaker speak about speed, agility, experimentation, collaboration. Uh, Eric Rosa from uh, Data Logics especially spoke about specific leadership skills, persistence, and courage and conviction, and we have the opportunity to go from spend, measure, and pray to experiment, scale, and grow. And I think you've seen over the course of these two days so many examples of that. So I invite you all, as you go back to your offices, to the leadership reinvention mandate, and think about the kinds of examples. And I just love this panel of leaders up here, and I, it's such a great gift to work for this board of directors, uh, because they gave you so many practical examples that go along with the presentations of how they've actually been able to take things like you've heard in the last couple of days and get them to land uh, into real meaningful business. And they gave some practical advice too, and uh, those are you know stories told, and they talked about uh, some adversity and, and the conviction that it takes to get ahead. So, you know, our leadership promise is a checklist. We're, you are going to hear so, many, so much consistency from us, from the ARF, the right insight, the right decision maker at the right time. These are gonna be evergreen, pillars that we're going to be focused on so that we can help bring the voice of the consumer to the decision table. We're going to have specific checklists of things that we're going to do, and we're going to be focusing on leadership skills, most especially attenuated to the next generation. So we leave more seats available in the research industry. We garner those hundreds of billions of dollars of, of opportunity, of analytics spending that's right in front of us and so that we get our solutions to be in sync with the consumer. I'm really, really, really excited about this. And I'm most especially excited about the collaboration that we've been able to forge in the industry and my opportunity, the great gift of sitting with my peers in the industry uh, this morning and at this panel and then people that work in our organizations to share the various things that they're doing. This is an amazing group of people to be able to work with, and we're looking at having a common agenda. Joan Lewis did such a fabulous job leading, leading that discussion and saying basically, you know, we really want you to focus on sales. We really want you all, I heard as an invitation to the industry, simplify and then teach us about what you simplified so we really know what you're talking about. There's some consistency. So we have a couple of agendas that we're going to be working on bringing forward. You're gonna hear a lot more about this as we go forward. Uh, my own that I really wanna to continue to, to evangelize for the ARF is this idea of a common ROI effectiveness to go along with common GRPs for media planning. Uh, please put on your calendars now, rethink uh, 2015. It's gonna be actually at the New York Hilton, which is not that far away. 
uh, and it's going to be March 15th to 18th. We're going we're gonna to have a blast. I promise we're going to continue the conversation. We will have a call to papers. We want all of you to be uh, taking your interesting papers and your work that you have. I already have somebody that told me last night I'm going to be on the main stage for Rethink Gale. I have the paper. It's super top secret. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I just want you to save me a place. So I want all of you to be thinking about that. And uh, just to reinforce, hey, we're the new ARF, and we really want to be agile, which means that we want to meet your needs, because we're a member-based organization. We want to help get the right information to the right decision maker at the right time, and we want to be all about future now, because the future is here, it's just unevenly distributed, and it's incumbent on us to help uh, bring best practices to you and then evangelize the leaders that are leading those best practices. Quick shout outs, Team ARF, the team that I'm so grateful to be able to work with, the board of directors that you got to see on stage so many times, all the sponsors, because my favorite line about that, this is one of my biggest insights. Everybody's like, what did you learn? What surprised you? Somebody has to pay for the wine, okay? So <laughs> I hadn't really thought about that much coming from a, a major manufacturer, but it's, it's true. So thank you so much to the sponsors, to all the members, that, we're, that we dedicate you know, our existence to, to the presenters who did such an amazing job, to friends and family, you all know who you are, you are the ARF, and you know what, we all say the world is changing, but we're here to actually change the world. So what I wanna do is close this conference, and the conference is officially closed at the end of this video, and it's actually, it's a tribute to all of you, it's a reprise of the last couple days, but most of all, it's my gift to my team because I could not have done this without them. And you're gonna see some behind the scenes pictures. They have been so amazing, they're so dedicated, they've worked so hard, and they really did it all for you. So thank you very much, and enjoy the video, and, and just please let us help you, help us help you, and I so appreciate you all being here. Yeah.